सो गुड मॉर्निंग वंस अगेन आई एम हेयर टू एक्सप्लेन यू नेक्स्ट सिस्टम ऑफ बलेनोग्लॉसस दैट इज रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम ऑफ बलेनोग्लॉसस इन माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई सेंट यू इन्फॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग वेरियस आस्पेक्ट्स लाइक मोरफोलॉजी स्किन सिलोम डाइजेस्टिव सी सिस्टम एंड फीडिंग इन बलेनोग्लॉसस नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इट्स रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम वेन वी टॉक अबाउट रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम लेट मी टेल यू बलेनोग्लॉसस पोजेस गिल अपरेटस or gill slits for respiration and you know this feature of balenoglossus it resemble chordates i told you na it's a hemichordate hemichordate means it has features of chordates as well as non chordates so presence of gill slits for respiration is another chordate like feature it possessing it is having so when we talk about its respiratory system its respiratory system i told you it consists of gill slits which are seen in branchial region of trunk trunk contain branchiogenital region and the anterior part of branchiogenital region called branchial region it contain gill pores or gill apertures which are seen there in the mid dorsal line okay so branchial region carry gill pores that helps in respiration now what are the various components of that respiratory system let me tell you respiratory system consists of two parts i am again again and again telling you the first part these are gill slits and second part these are gill sacs or branchial sacs as the name indicate gill sacs or branchial sacs they contain gill slits in them these are also called branchial pouches let me tell you these gill sacs they are opening to outside as well as they are communicating with pharynx they open to outside through gill pore and they communicate with pharynx through gill slits so branchial sacs these are lined by flattened cell they communicate with pharynx by gill slits and with outside by gill pores or branchial pores which are visible in this diagram see the first gill pore and second gill pore labeled on the left hand side so branchial sacs or branchial pouches these are the very first part another view you can see in another view if i tell you just you see this is another view here you can see gill sac they are very much clear over here they open to outside by gill pore and they communicate with pharynx by gill slits now gill slits i told you they are present in branchial region of trunk let me tell you these are u shaped in structure you can see u shaped gill slits but during their development they were not u shaped rather they were oval so during their early stages gill slits were wide and oval structures but later they become u shaped due to growth of tongue bar from its dorsal edge you can see tongue bar in the center tongue bar grows from the dorsal edge and make it u shaped and you know this development of gill slit like earlier oval and later become u shaped due to tongue bar this mode of development it resemble a chordate a protochordate and that protochordate is branchiostoma or amphioxus okay so this is another similarity between balenoglossus and chordates the mode of development of gill slits resemble a protochordate we also call it a cephalochordate branchiostoma or amphioxus so gill slits were earlier oval but later become u shaped due to growth of tongue bar between them now just you see in between gill slits the portion of pharyngeal wall the portion of pharyngeal wall between two gill slits we are calling it gill septum plural gill septa so part of pharyngeal wall between two gill slits is gill septa and as see gill septa are can interconnected by horizontal bars horizontal structures and these horizontal structures which connect gill septa we call them synapticula synapticula are short horizontal bars which connect gill septa and tongue bars another important feature you can see gill septa and gill slits they are supported by skeletal rods okay they are supported by skeletal rods which appear to be m shaped see here m shaped skeletal rod is visible in the gill slit 
the center of M, it is in the gill septum and the side arms, they are present on the gill slits of each side. So middle ray of each M-shaped row, it is in center and just see it is bifurcated ventrally. So middle ray of M-shaped skeletal rod is bifurcated and lies in gill septum while the outer rays, the outer rays lies in neighboring tongue bars. Okay, so these presence of these skeletal rods, it is another point of resemblance between balenoglossus and branchiostoma. So I told you two features of respiratory system due to which it resemble a cephalocordate or a protocordate branchiostoma. First of all, its development. Shuru may oval hote hai, lekin baad mein they become U-shaped due to growth of tongue bar. Tongue bar is the region of pharyngeal wall which arises from the dorsal edge. Then they are supported by M-shaped skeletal rods. Center or middle ray of M is bifurcated and the side parts or the corresponding arms, they are present in the adjacent gill bars. So let me tell you that this these two features, these provide similarity between branchiostoma and balenoglossus. So gill slits and branchial sacs, they together make up respiratory system of balenoglossus. Now another interesting feature, the entire gill slits, they are covered by cilia on them. They have ciliated epithelium and these cilia, they beat to set up a current of water. So during respiration, the cilia of gill slits beat they set up a current of water which enter mouth. From mouth, the water current goes to pharynx and where it passes through respiratory chamber of pharynx. Aapko bataya tha, pharynx ke do isse hote hain. Food chamber and respiratory chamber separated by parabranchial ridge. So, water passes over the gill slits and as it passes over the gill slits, there occur gas exchange because there are well-developed capillaries present in the gill slits in the surrounding area. So there occur exchange of gases and foul water that is carbon dioxide rich water it goes out through gill pore. So entry of water occur through mouth, gill slits and their cilia beat and that beating of cilia set up a water current, water passes over the gill slits, exchange of gases occur in tongue bar and in the surrounding area and foul water goes outside through gill pore. So this is how gill slits enable balenoglossus to breathe very easily. Okay, so this is all about respiratory system of balenoglossus. In my next video, I will send you information regarding circulatory system of balenoglossus. So keep watching videos, keep understanding, keep learning and all the best to everyone. Thank you.